In this nugget, we will understand the basic principles of additive color mixing. Every spectrum combination is comprised of three basic colors, which are known as primary colors. What happens with additive color mixing can be understood by considering the three basic colors of the visible spectrum, that is, red, green, and blue. If these primary colors are mixed, the result is white light. The primary color red, mixed with green, gives yellow. Blue with green gives cyan. And the primary color blue with red gives the color magenta. All the primary colors mixed together results in white light. Yellow, magenta, and cyan are called secondary colors because they each consist of a mix of two primary colors. Yellow, magenta, and cyan are also called complementary colors because when mixed with the primary color that is not contained in it, the result is, again, white light. The complementary color yellow mixed with the primary color blue gives white light. The complementary color magenta with primary green or the complementary color cyan with red also gives white light. Let us now understand the basic principles of subtractive color mixing. If colored paints are mixed, the result will always be darker than the original paints. This form of color mixing is called subtractive mixing. The subtractive mixing of two complementary colors will again produce a primary color. Thus, yellow and magenta make red. Yellow and cyan make green. Magenta and cyan make blue. Subtractive mixing of the complementary colors cyan, magenta, and yellow gives black. This is the reason why cyan, magenta, and yellow, and key black, are the ink colors used in multicolor printing, CMYK printing. Therefore, mixing of two or three complementary paint colors will produce black. Thank you.